guys, it is Friday, May 16th, and I just wanted to do a quick update. Um, it's been a crazy week, and sorry, I'm like smacking gum everywhere. My filling came out last week on my tooth, and so it hurts. My gums like itch, you know, like when I guess what it feels like when you're teething. So I've just been saying I'm teething, <laughs> and so I'm chewing gum. Um, so first of all, this back issue, it's not working. It's, I'm still having a lot of pain, and so Monday I have a doctor's appointment again to, I guess, maybe start physical therapy and do a scan to find out if, for sure, if it's a bulging disc or a slip disc in my spine. Um, so I've been having a lot of pain with that. Um, my sleeves. And then on top of that, yesterday, um, it was a really hard day. My, one of my best friends, who really is like a sister to me, she lost her husband. Just like, <laughs> my eyes just went cross eyed. That was like a fuzzy that flew in my face when I was a spider. Anyway, um, she lost her husband suddenly, and it's just, so she was having a hard time, and understandably how upset she was, and just, hysterical about it and I really thought yesterday that I might lose her too um you know because of how upset she was so I had all that going on yesterday and she's fine now I mean as fine as you can be and um and it turns out her husband so I think it was either Tuesday night or Wednesday night she had posted that she was um at Walmart like getting medicine for him because he wasn't feeling good and then you know a few hours later I get texts that she's at the emergency room with him because he just his fever was like 107 I think she said it was or something and um I don't know if it was like 100.7 or 107 point something I don't remember what she said but it was just it was bad and um so they took him to the emergency room and he was just throwing up and it's like within a matter of hours, it just got progressively worse, and I wasn't able to talk to her the rest of that night because you know she's there in the hospital has sucky reception, and um, so next day I get a phone call from her while we are on our way to um, Mona's kindergarten orientation, telling me that she had just left the hospital to go get something to eat and to go check in at work and. Um, hospital called her telling her that she needed to come back right away because he was having seizures and I'm just pretty much going downhill really quickly and she had mentioned something about a scan and something about his brain I could have sworn she said something about a tumor or maybe she was under the impression that scan and something with the brain had to do you know was a tumor but um, she said she called me back didn't hear from her that night didn't hear from her so it was Wednesday night and then Thursday morning, there was a post, you know, or Thursday night, there was a post on Facebook just that, you know, she loved him and that she was waiting to hear his voice again. And, they, you know, his whole family was waiting for him to pull through. And um, yesterday, I found out that I guess he had been on life support. I don't know how long after he got to the hospital, but it couldn't have been that long. Because it was, what, Tuesday night, the Wednesday, then Thursday um they ended up having to pull the plug on his life support, and so he passed away. And it's just, it's really hard. Um, I guess in the end what it was is he had an abscessed uh, tooth, and it, the infection from it um, poisoned his bloodstream, I guess. And it went, obviously, to his, either his head or heart, and he just, like, his whole body shut down, and then he was just gone. So... That's really scary that I didn't even know that that was possible for it to get that bad, but, um, and when I looked up online, it's like, some people don't have symptoms very badly, you know, very bad symptoms at all, and so it's scary. And here I am with this hole in my tooth for, like, the past week, and my gums are hurting and in pain, and I'm not able to, like, eat very much, and, you know, between that and the medication, keep anything down, so when I asked God to help me with strength of my diet... I didn't mean that, but I guess next time I should probably plan out my prayer a little bit more because I got help, I'm not able to eat, and I lost a few pounds, but not quite the way I wanted to do it. So, 
it's just been um, really stressful and hard for her and I'm just trying to be here for her as much as I can and be open to you know whatever she needs to feel bad it's her and her daughter and so I just feel terrible um, she's never really gone through loss she lost her mom last year her biological mother and it's like they've had a rocky relationship so um, you know she finally was getting on track with her mom and getting to talk to her and then her mom slipped out the river actually and hit her head on a rock and ended up dying then so I mean it was just like that happened and that was hard for me so I think it's the first time she's really had like a a loss really impact her but this is her husband so I'm just worried about her and then on top of that it's like my back like I said hasn't been getting any better um now I'm getting like migraines but I know that has to do with my tooth just because like the pain from my jaw is going up and I can feel it all the way up here and this is where my headaches start so but I mean this whole weekend it just it goes to show you how short life really is and I definitely have had my share of learning that the hard way but this is just like it's scary and you know I had a conversation with Jeffrey kind of a, sort of a real conversation with him about you know the possibilities and reality of what's going on with me and my head you know I have this cyst growing in my brain and um, hold on a second anyway um, I had to check my phone so like this thing growing in my head it's it's never good when you have like foreign things obviously growing in your head or sister stuff but like when one of the side effects could be instant death that obviously is something that's serious and I don't think I sometimes don't take it as seriously as I should be just because in my head it's like if I don't talk about it it's not really there um I think I think about it more how it affects my mom because she has the same thing and you know in my head I'm always worried about like you know, slight change, movement, growth, or whatever could block any kind of passage in her brain and that she could instantly die from that. We could just, you know, be doing something and instantly die and that scares me because I don't want to lose her. But then, in the back of my head, I have it, you know, I have the exact same thing. The same exact thing could happen to me too. And that's scary. And it's hereditary, so I worry about the kids, if they have it or not. Um... There's no need to put them under, you know, that MRI machine, expose them to all that radiation and stuff right now. Um, so when they get older, you know, we'll find out. I don't think my brother has it. I don't even know if he's actually had an MRI before. Um, so, I don't know. It's scary. Um, I definitely need to, you know, do, do the most I can with my life right now because... Like I said, you never know. I mean, no one ever knows when they're going to go, but having this as an added factor, it's, it's higher risk. And so I do worry about that. I just worry about, I think, more, not the fact that it could die. I don't think that part really freaks me because everybody dies. But the fact of not being able to see my kids, like, get married and have families and stuff like that, that's the part I'm scared of, is leaving mm -hmm. them before... You know, they really can be on their own. Obviously, right now, they can't be on their own. If I, for God forbid, I died for any reason right now, then they're still really young. They still need me. And not to say that you don't need your parents when you're older, because you definitely do. I still need my mom, and I still still need my dad. And unfortunately, my dad is not here. So it's like, but at least when you're older, you're more well-equipped. I just want to teach them and, um, you know, prepare them for the world and teach them the best I can to be independent like my mom has to me. Um, she's definitely, I'm going to sneeze. I'm sorry. Anyway, um, so she's definitely taught me to be independent and so I just want to teach them that too. I don't want them to be, you know, I want them to be motivated to be good people and do things and be productive members of society and all that stuff so the only way to teach them is for me to be that way too so it's definitely something I'm really working on and slowly accomplishing so um, yeah it's just it's scary man you don't ever know when you're gonna go um, sorry I keep I 
keep catching myself like I can hear the gum. Hold on a second. Okay, I had to stare into the light because I knew I was going to sneeze and it wouldn't come out. <clears throat> oh, my eyes are red. Anyway, so that's what's going on. It's a constant roller coaster. Oh, I got these new nail things. They're so cool. My mom got them for me. They're like, now I'm really like into these things, these nail stickers. I got these ones too. So these ones are the leopard print. And then I got, cause I freaking love Halloween as I've mentioned before probably. So I got these ones that have little skulls and look like zippers. I guess they were like $6.99 at Rite Aid and I don't know what before, but they ended up being a dollar over at Big Lots. And so I got these ones and I got some ones with spiders and then I got some blue ones with zippers on them and some red ones that look like they have blood on them. They're just so cool. Anyway. I'm like obsessed with these things now. These are so easy to put on, and then you just file around the excess. And these ones have like, I can tell. it's okay. It's got like silver, like flex to them. Um, I like them. Anyway, so that was just my update. I just wanted to vent a little bit, vlog, and um, yeah. We have a busy day today. It was Cody's practice and um. Still having to have Jeffrey drive and do stuff because of my medications and just because I get really bad muscle spasms, which are not good when you're driving because then my whole leg locks up and it's not safe. And tomorrow, that's gonna fall. <laughs> anyway, um, tomorrow he's got well, Cody has two basketball games back to back, so we gotta get up early. He has a game at nine, so we gotta be out of here. Everybody up at least 7.30 so we can eat something, get ready, get dressed, showered, everything, and then be out of here and be there by 8.30. Um, I'm kind of excited. It's at, my, it's at my old middle school. So we're going to be there. Um, and then he has another game at 11 something. So I gotta pack, I'm probably going to pack lunches and stuff tonight. That way we can get there, just eat lunch there, and then back to the game. Um, we were planning on having a grad sale this weekend, but due to everything with my back and just not really, I'm not been able to get up and do much. Um, I have this whole week, we're trying to reschedule it for next week. Uh, that way I can get the garage a little bit more situated. I, I got quite a bit done. Mona! Oh my gosh. I just, hold on a second. She's like spilled a whole bag of peanuts on the floor. Anyway. Um... I got some stuff done on the garage. Um, definitely am like all caught up. I've been spending this time since I'm not able to do much. Um, just laundry and blankets and unpacking boxes of clothes and rewashing all that stuff. So and this is the first time that it's like nothing in this house that needs to be washed right now for a few hours. And then there'll be towels and stuff tomorrow morning when everybody showers. But I can get back to just laundry once a week versus trying to wash and wash and catch up. Um, the only problem now is my closet, I have absolutely no room for hangers. I tried to shove one shirt on a hanger in there, and the hanger broke because there's just no room in there. So, I had to figure that out. And I've already gotten rid of two, like, big black lawn bags full of clothes. All my stuff, mostly. I think there's only a few things of Jeffrey's, but I'm a clothes hoarder. I didn't know that until, until I had to face my problems. Um... Yeah, once you put it there in front of me, and I have like two laundry bags, just or laundry baskets, like square laundry baskets that were just full of flip flops. Some of them I still have tags on because every time there's the dollar flip flop day <clears throat> at Old Navy, my mom goes crazy, I go crazy, they just kind of build up. And I can't wear all those flip flops at one time. I've tried to wear them like all, all the time, but I have so many pairs that still just have tags on them and. I really need to just get rid of them, probably. I love flip-flops. Um, I actually haven't worn flip-flops in so long, though, just because you can't wear those to work, and, um, so I haven't really worn them. I've been wearing my Nike shoes a lot, though, or my Converse. I love Converse. <sighs> I'm tired. I look tired. I'm gonna wipe my makeup off and go to bed. It's like... And, yeah, I'm just blabbing. It's like 15 minutes in almost. So I'm going to go, but I just needed to vent a little bit, um, get stuff out. 
just because there's so much stuff going on. Um, my brain is kind of like right now. Anyway, so I will talk to you guys later. Hopefully, you guys are having a way better week than than what I'm having. Um, and yeah, from this point on, I just really need to work on my health and my attitude, um, which has gotten significantly better since my dad passed away. So I've kind of given up the whole being angry thing. Um, definitely kill him with kindness is what you got to do. People get pissed off when you do that. So, oh well. So, yeah, I'm going to go and try to go to sleep. Well, I, yeah, she just ran away. I have to get her to sleep. So, I will talk to you guys later. Bye.